All right, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be back in Iceland. Um, their volcanoes are at it again. It's it's been a rough few months for them, and uh, even though in the past two days we've heard that the the Blue Lagoon um, Resort, the hot springs there, have opened up again to the public. Um, it's far from really giving the country a break with all the seismic activity um, around um, Grindavik, where the original eruptions of November, December uh, were happening. Um, and there's still some talk about the possibility of a second um, magma um, channel there opening up similar to what happened in, in mid-December, so just 10 days before uh, Christmas or so. So um, really today what, what we're dealing with um, is that there's a second volcano that has gotten very active, and it's the Grimsvörten uh, volcano um, to the east of um, Grindavik uh, by quite a bit. Um, we're looking at it here on, on Google Maps. You can see the Grimsvörten, and you can actually see there's a bit of a, a lake there, and part of what's going on this time is they're talking about something called a, a glacial lake outburst flood, and apparently that flood has already uh, started. Um, I'm going to post the the wiki link here to what exactly that is, but but basically um, you have water, meltwater from a a volcano or glacier on top of a volcano um, starting to melt, and it it gets dammed up by something. In in most cases with volcanoes, it's dammed up between uh, behind some moraine, um, and it it almost looks like that's kind of what we're we're looking at here a little bit. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that, but just real quick to get that location again, uh, what we're looking at, um, here's Grimsvörten and here's Grindavik. So that first channel opened up down here to the left, uh, that magma channel, and they're talking about a second one that could open up a little bit further east, but it's been fairly quiet. There's been uplift, but there hasn't been um, any, any breaking the surface as of yet. Um, so what's happening over here is that there's quite a bit of activity. There was a, a 4.3 um, magnitude earthquake uh, just early this morning, um, around 6 a.m. local time, which would put it around midnight. I think I might have the exact time here, 6.53 local time. I believe that's six hours ahead of uh, Eastern time in the U.S. So, you know, just after midnight uh, on the East Coast and around 9 p.m., last night uh, California time and and you can see that there's some flooding that they're talking about here from uh, late yesterday afternoon on this on this webcam and to get a better sense of what what that is is I think that webcam is down here you can see there's the the volcano up up top here and then we're looking at the the glacier itself coming off and what's happening is there's just this large amount of, of water, so this flood starting, um, and it's running down the glacier, and it's been flooding uh, this area here. Now, there is a small uh, village down here. It doesn't look like much. Um, in fact, it looks like a golf course, um, or maybe some agriculture as well. Um, just a small group of housing along the, the road that runs along the south uh, shore of of Iceland, but you can see this really, really large um, alluvial area um, here. You know the the patchwork imagery. There we go. We had to zoom out a little bit further to get a good sense of the the this alluvial um, plain, this black um, volcanic dirt um, that that gets you know dragged down from the the moraine from the glacier. Uh, gets crumbled up into fine black sand, and you get these amazing black sand beaches um, along the coast of, of Iceland. So uh, what they're, they're concerned about now is that this whole area will fill up with water completely and possibly wash out the road. So um, it's, it's the thing to watch now over the next couple of days in Iceland. Um, it's you know, it's been a rough, it's a, a rough patch for them, and I think, you know, I hope uh, that it won't be too bad. I hope uh, that maybe they get a little bit more cold weather, and maybe this freezes up a little bit more of that that water, and, and maybe 
it doesn't flow out and destroy too much. But, you know, the road here along the, the south coast, uh, definitely, you know, in jeopardy if we zoom in far enough. Um, again, with the patchwork, um, this route one here, um, the patchwork satellite imagery on Google, Google Maps. But yeah, this, this stuff is all very, very low to the ground going across this big alluvial uh, floodplain. So um, that's all I have on the Grimsverton um, Glacial Lake outburst flood. Um, but there is another issue going on in Grindavik, and it's, it's uh, even worse news. Um, apparently, um, they've been trying to fix some of the, the fissures um, and crevices caused by the first um, volcanic eruption that happened back in December in, in Grindavik. And what happened is that one of the guys working there fell in to one of these crevices, and they have not been able to find him. Um, so a terrible, terrible tragedy. This was Wednesday, and now it's Friday. And the article here is a rescuers are looking. Um, hundreds of people have been looking. Um, they've been going down into the into the crevice, trying to to find him and, and bring him back up. Um, and just at midnight, they said they had to stop because of a rockfall uh, near near the top of this crevice. Uh, nobody else down there was was hurt, but um, from what I've been reading and seeing in different uh, articles here, um, it, it seems like there is um, a, a large scale effort to try to uh, find this fella and and bring him back up, uh, hopefully alive and and only you know suffering from dehydration and, and exposure. Um, so let's keep our fingers crossed for him uh, and see that. You know, keep our eye on this story, to, and hopefully they'll they'll bring him up soon. Um, but yeah, it's it's been it's been two days, and and it's really a tough thing. Uh, so they're working hard and and trying to uh, widen the opening of the the crevice, and and hopefully, you know, uh, they can do more. They're saying here that they can only get two people down into the crack uh, at a time. Um, so yeah, uh, on the one hand, you hear the news that the the Blue Lagoon is is open again. Um, on the other hand, you you know are hearing about this glacial lake um, really starting to flood that alluvium down in the bottom of Grimsvert and um, near the shore. And and now we've hear, heard this this terrible uh, news of a of a, a worker trying to help um, get the the town of Grindavik back you know, up and working um, and has fallen into the crevice and, and has not been retrieved as of yet. So a lot going on, uh, a lot of potential still for um, an eruption at Grimsvert in here um, and back at the original site in uh, Grindavik. Uh, so we'll be continuing to watch this, this story. Uh, tourism, travel to Iceland seems to be still moving moving along at quite a, a good clip people are going there's you know volcano tourism there's there are people going to the blue lagoon um but let's not forget you know all the people who are working so hard to try to restore um the town of grindavik and get things working again and and back to normal um and who are putting themselves at risk here uh, to try and do that so hopefully uh, we'll get some good news on that fella in the next day or two and uh, we'll just be following this Grimsvert and Volcano uh, closely to see what happens. So uh, thanks for watching, and, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.